For a whole year, my boyfriend warned me that once Breath of the Wild came out, he was going to need somewhere between 50 and 1,000 hours to play it. <laughs> wow, I don't blame him. He claimed it was going to be the greatest game of all time, but I was skeptical because according to him, The Witcher 3, GOAT. Bioshock, GOAT. Super Mario Bros. 3, GOAT. It's called a warp whistle. I think it was easy for him to label so many games as the greatest because it was such a hard decision, but not anymore. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is by far my boyfriend's favorite video game, and something much more. He and Zelda are the same age, they grew up together, got kinda edgy in their teens, and didn't know what to do with themselves after college. Everything went really well in our rehearsals, you guys need to turn off all your wireless devices. So this isn't a review of Breath of the Wild, this is a review of what it's like to live with someone whose oldest friend is a video game. I was totally expecting the find a dungeon, get the item, beat the boss, and repeat formula, because, you know, that's what Zelda's been doing since 1991. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But just seconds after Link gets out of his tanning bed, you realize the game is going to be a breath of fresh air. This first shot of Hyrule was like, Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Wow. And it's just a tiny glimpse of the overworld. For comparison, here's Breath of the Wild, here's Twilight Princess, and here's your mom's underwear. <laughs> Within just a few hours, Link is given all the tools he needs to fully explore the map, and they're some of the most innovative he's ever had. People are still figuring out insane ways to solve puzzles using them. Or if you're this guy from Reddit, skip the entire game. Link can manipulate time and kinetic energy with stasis, become Magneto with Magnesis, Mankind has always feared what it doesn't understand. And after 30 years, he can finally jump with his knees. But the thing that separates Breath of the Wild from every other open world game is that Link can climb anything. There are truly no boundaries to where you can go, and for the first time in a game, my boyfriend was like, I got no string to hold me down. Oh my god, it rained so much in this game. Watching him climb a huge rock, move the camera around in awe, and then jump into the sunset using his paraglider never got old. He once said, I didn't know video games had me in chains until Zelda set me free. What a loser. Well, excuse me, princess. This freedom is what makes it a joy to watch, and it gave me a real bad case of backseat gamer. I'd be like, what's this? What's this? There's treasure everywhere. What's this? There's cool rocks under there. And my boyfriend wouldn't even be mad because the world is overflowing with rewards like puzzles, challenges, and just beauty. Ooh, long boy. I mean, there are 900 Koroks to find, which, can I just ask, is that poopy? Have we been collecting Poopy? And is he dancing for Poopy? Yeah. Out of the 250 hours my boyfriend ended up dedicating to Breath of the Wild, 90% of that must have just been walking around doing whatever he felt like. Nintendo could probably remove all the main quests, dungeons, and characters, especially this creep, and it would still be his favorite game. But if they took out the Poopies, I don't know. But as someone not playing the game, that 250 hours wasn't always a pleasure, especially to listen to. People often ask us where we got the idea for girlfriend reviews, and the answer is this. I've heard that map sound at least 5,000 times, and that's not an exaggeration. I did the math. On average, he opens the map once every three minutes. That's 20 every hour multiplied by 250 hours equals 5,000. That doesn't even include the times I imagined hearing it like my boyfriend was following me around with his switch all day. That noise. That reminds me of the Haitian voodoo rattle torture. But I guess it was worth it because it inspired these videos and we got to meet all of you guys. Aww. Now smash that. Now don't get me wrong, the sound design is near perfect. The way the ambient piano knows what you're doing and feeling is almost supernatural. The notes tumble through the breath of the wild, echoes of a once festive civilization, like the seeds of a dandelion Ganon blew away. And then this is what a heart attack sounds like. Oh my gosh, is this really rated E for everyone? Other than some of the songs getting repetitive, I'm looking at you, Shrine Music, and the bleeps and bloops you'll hear 5,000 times, I'm looking at you, Sheikah Sensor. I really had no problems with Zelda being a guest in our house for so long. I'm looking at you, Dark Souls. In fact, if your boyfriend plays Breath of the Wild, there's a good chance you'll do what I did and just straight up steal his Switch and start your own game. Wake up, Link. That's me. So as someone who's very bad at video games, let me teach you my ways. This is a new segment I'm gonna call Girlfriend Tips. Number one, make a new profile. Otherwise, you'll delete your boyfriend's game, which is a difficult conversation to have. Number two, don't fight this thing. Uh-uh. Number three, cook a nice dinner. Cause even if you only have three hearts, you can have infinite dubious foods. 
just like my cooking in real life. Number four, accessorize. Cause shopping is fun, and I love that when you dye your clothes, it's almost like Link knows you're trying to make him look stupid. Aw, you look nice. Number five, find the big ladies. If you bring them bugs and stuff, they'll make your accessories better. Plus, they go, Ooh! Number six, use your camera. There's like a whole photography game in here. Filling out your compendium is basically a sequel to Pokemon Snap. Got the little crab, and they go, oh no. Number seven, get Majora's Mask. You'll be very popular instead of dead. Surprise, I was faking it, just like last night. Hello. Number eight, shield surf because apparently Link is Johnny Tsunami. Oh no, he needs help. I gotta go though. Number nine, you're gonna see an island and you're gonna wanna go there, but don't go there. You'll never match, any chance, will you? And number 10, don't ask your boyfriend for help because five hours later, it's his game now. Bye Link, bye Zelda, bye Spider-Man. All right, thanks for watching. We know you guys wanna see a Last of Us review and we promise it's coming. Let us know what other games you think my boyfriend should play. We're thinking next week we'll do a 2018 indie game recap because he played a ton of those this year. I hope you all have a happy holiday. Bye bye!